we all contribute to landfill, but up close there is something overwhelming about a place like this. And in consumer-obsessed America, the scale is quite something. So too, the lack of effective recycling. Just look at the plastic and the cardboard here. Space is cleared for more and more because the average American produces nearly a ton of rubbish every year. That's three times as much as the average Britain. We are seemingly unstoppable generators of waste, which is why management is so vital. So this is the most interesting work I've ever done. Zachary Peterson manages this vast landfill outside Houston, America's fourth largest city. And he's proud of a process that, despite flaws caused by consumer culture and poor regulation, is, he says, sustainable. My passion for landfills is I can affect change, and it affects you know, our community. It affects you know, being a good neighbor. It affects the environment. Um, you know, I'm directly affecting the, the world my daughter's going to grow up in by doing proper landfilling. Under this pasture is tons of waste. Among the huge challenges of landfill is methane. Without effective management, methane seeps out of the earth as the waste decomposes. And it is a greenhouse gas that short term warms our planet faster than any other. In America alone, landfill accounts for nearly 20% of human caused methane emissions. But here, a solution. We've watched the trucks coming in through the morning, tons and tons of waste flattened and compacted on top of a plastic shell that already lines the landfill site. Eventually, that shell will be sealed, the waste within it will decompose, and from that, the methane can then be extracted. These stumps are the methane wells dotted across the landscape. They are the heart of the operation and they are the success story. The example I like to use being, if you imagine a milkshake, you have a straw in the milkshake, the milkshake's your landfill, the straw is the extraction well, you exert the vacuum using your mouth, or in our case, a blower system, and, you know, the content is removed at some point. On the edge of the site, the gas, which would otherwise seep out of the earth, is piped into a refinery, cleaned, and then sold on to power cars and heat homes. This methane capture is a technology used increasingly around the developed world, yet beyond it is literally an ever-growing challenge. And while this may be a success of sorts, the troubling fact is that even here, so much of this will never decompose. Mark Stone, Sky News in Texas.